Back inside the Seagull Center, we look at the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. Brought to you by Kubota. Come out against a tournament, but they definitely need to get the win, and they're at home. All right, the tip is controlled by VCU. Highland right out of the gate, covered by Kellen Grady. Uh, behind the arc, Tom. Rakovic puts it on the floor. He gets it back from Lee. Head oh. shot. Basket shot is blocked away. That's a hard block by Hassan Ward. Here's Highland, left side of the lane, sweeps it and lays it in. He was able to sort of slide right past Grady to get that layup to go down. Highland got a little separation. Brykovich came to help out for Davidson. You need help on Bones Highland, as good as Kellen Grady is. Williams for three, it's good. Nothing but net, 5 nothing VCU. And he needed that to fall. That is huge confidence builder right there. You attack off the ball speed. Another great defensive play with the block. Yeah, Hassan Ward with the block. Ooh. Highland with the hesitation. Big step into the paint. Gets the layup to go down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. A little hezzy. What a euro. This kid is ultra talented. So, something must have been said. Pass up top, the three-pointer is good. Nothing but net for Vince Williams. He looked at his feet, got him set, and then let it go. Yeah, welcome sight. I mean, again, like I said before, he didn't take care of your business. They're at home. They have an opportunity right here to get something done, and they need to get it done. Watkins against that zone goes in. Davidson did a good job for the first 20 seconds or so. By Ward, that was way too easy for Ward. It's five on four for VCU. They go down low. Easy jam. Medley, Medley Bacon, Bacon with his first bucket. You see, that's what they want Huffman to do. That's what I call speeding you up so this season. Davidson, their low point total 25. I don't think they're going to reach that. Now that bucket by Stocker, Highland, who had a, a path to the basket, but he found one anyway. Bones hurt you. Bones hurt you. He did a good job of warning him off and walling him up on the transition. But a little stutter step, a little hezzy getting to the rim. Where is the defense? Someone should be there to take a charge. Ten seconds left. Huffman lost it. Now this could be a big transition right here. Baldwin going right to the rim. Lays it in with three seconds left. It's 24-17. And that is the way the first half turned the tide. And what kind of, you see Coach McKillop, he's already in a stance. What are they going to do? Are they going to respond? All right, 20 minutes to see who goes, well, at least 20 minutes to see who goes to Dayton to take on St. Bonaventure. Bracket week presented by Kubota. It's the second 8-10 semifinal of the afternoon. And right out of the gate, Stockard can't get the layup to go in. He gets his own rebound, puts it back. Good way to start it. And so the injuries which lingered yesterday don't seem to be bothering them today. Baldwin curls in, leaves it down low for Stockard, and off the glass. That's his second bucket of this half. I, mean, I think that's what they got to do. I mean, I know that they, they want to shoot. Davidson three. has an assist on each made basket so far. It's only eight made baskets, but they have an assist on each of them. Highland going to the basket, tried to get rid of the basketball, and he got a little lucky with the foul as he's able to finish and go to the free throw line. Well, that was a nice just freeze in the air and pose. Look at it right there. You got to get there. See, you got to get there. Good job there. You, you, just, he, you can't let him now see one for nine from the floor. They may, they may have to put him in some ball screens to get him oh, some look at that pass. Oh, Highland and Douglas. Wow. But again, this matches the largest lead of the night for VCU, 34-25. Like I was saying before, like if the Kellum Grady Bones Highland matchup, Bones is definitely getting back to that. And whoosh. Douglas with a two-handed jam, back-to-back -back buckets for him. In points, he's done his part. He's earned it. Banks for three. It's good. He didn't need the bank there. It's 44-33. Ten and a half. By the way, that's nine turnovers for Davidson. VCU has now made eight consecutive field goals. The three-pointer for Jameer Watkins. That young man is going to be one heck of a player. Baseline. Island inside for Douglas, and Douglas is able to get it over the top. 13 points for Lee. Highland trying to answer and does not. Oh, Ward, whoa! He came flying in. What a 
body on that young man. He gets it in. Shot clock was at two. Oh, <laughs> Ward. I don't know which one he likes better, the two-headed jam or that bucket. They ended off to Watkins. Watkins for three, and it's good. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have taken that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing, but the freshman has ten points. You see Bowie's confidence when you do that. Tonight, not the case. Yeah, not the case. And when you're a leader, that's a nice move. He's bold. Even though that's going to be really good. Another freshman. Yeah, going to be really good. they got a bright futures here. He's but got again. seven. They get it into Baldwin, to Watkins. Down low to Douglas. Bam. And the officials timeout. They're not happy over there on the Davidson bench. Highland will just hold it. He's got to get it across the timeline. And then he can just dribble it out. Yeah, no reason to foul here. And that'll do it. The last five seconds will tick off the clock. Virginia Commonwealth has a date with St. Bob.